You might notice some interesting spots on the giraffes. I noticed that they're similar, but they also have some differences. Interesting. I wonder if there's anything mathematical about the visual pattern we see on a giraffe coat pattern. I feel like the visual pattern we see on their coat is a bit more complex than number patterns, like two, four, six, eight. But I feel like it's still a sequence of geometric objects. Interesting. I wonder if we can come up with a few geometric rules that describe the coat patterns of the giraffes we see right here at the zoo and of different giraffe species. In fact, coat pattern is one of the ways they classify different giraffe species. Although each individual giraffe has its own unique coat pattern, kind of like the human fingerprint. Okay, so let's take a look at the coat pattern of the giraffes right in front of us. These giraffes are reticulated giraffes. Let's see if we can figure out any math patterns on their coat. Well, it looks to me like they have large polygonal shapes for spots. If we imagine that the outlines of the spots are all straight sides, yeah, it looks like a geometric pattern, doesn't it? It reminds me of a mosaic pattern. It's called a tessellation in math, which is a tiling pattern of shapes with no gaps or overlaps. Interesting. You know, there are four different species of giraffe. In fact, coat patterns are one of the factors used to group the giraffe species. Let's compare the reticulated giraffe coat patterns we're looking at with another species called the northern giraffe. Let's compare the two coat patterns. Okay. So it looks like the reticulated giraffes have larger polygonal spots that are simpler. Some of the spot shapes look roughly similar to hexagons, while the northern giraffe, they have spots that are smaller and more complex. And for the northern giraffe, it looks like one rule for this visual pattern is that the boundary lines are much thicker and also less straight. Very cool. So we spent more time on this. I bet we could come up with a number of even more specific metrics based on what we see with the two patterns. You know, animal biologists and mathematicians are actually working together right now to try to figure out the math behind animal coat patterns. So we figured out a lot about math patterns on giraffe coats today. We did. You know, all this talk about patterns has me thinking about the tile patterns we're choosing for our bathroom at home. I think there are some tessellations there. And I could also try this at home with my two dogs. Their coats are also similar, but they are different.